last time this microphone will be in use for the evening. I, no, maybe not. That's probably not true. Um, <laughs> I've been thinking that during this concert that um, Danny Heifetz is a whole lot smarter than any of us can ever know. Because look what he did. He put together a program that from beginning to end has Hungarian roots. <laughs> I don't know how he did it. Um, the serendipity, planning, maybe a little of both. Um, the piece we're about to play for you is definitely has all Hungarian um, elements and quotations. Unfortunately, the beautiful slow movement we're not going to play, which is a great viola solo. But, um, but this movement, too, is based on Hungarian melodies and rhythms and grammar. So you'll hear that as we progress through the first minor theme into the next major theme. And finally, it all comes together in a rather intense fugue and then comes apart again. And, and you'll say, OK, it's time to get up and dance. And this time you can. <laughs> <It's>, <laughs> um, one more thing to say, um, I've known all of the members except for the relatively new cellist of this quartet since we were kids. Um, we were just straight out of school. We used to read chamber music at night in anybody's apartment who would let us until 3 a.m. most nights of the week. So we have a really long history and it's great to be back with them. Thank you. 
Thank you. 